Hi, how you doing? My name is James Clem. I want to talk about parameters when I'm making the two-piece implant restoration on the Sarah. Now, for the last few versions, I've noticed a few things when I'm using Emacs. That would be for the abutment and the final crown. I have found that the fists just are not consistent. The Emacs restoration isn't going down on the abutment quite all the way, even in pre-crystal and after crystallization. Now, when I'm using a zirconia abutment, with an Emacs crown, I never have that problem. So it's an algorithm milling issue. So how do we get around that? There's several things that I want to address. Number one is I want a spacer at 180 versus 120. That 180 kind of solves that problem. The other thing I'm looking at is the draw on the prep in your parameters rather than six or seven degrees i'm going to draw it at nine degrees and then number three when you have an abutment proposed posteriorly it actually proposes beautiful cusp zones on the abutment and they can be sharp which creates a problem with the mill on the intaglial surface of your crown so with the two directional tool take and lower those abutment cusp tips down so they're a little more flat and they're not as sharp and with that you don't have a milling issue those are the three things that i pay attention to when i'm doing the two piece just thought i'd make a note of that in fact i'm milling out multiple restorations now for my implant class and i had to go through various parameters to make sure that they seated really well and i've had very good success with my emax abutments particularly on molars on premolars I'll usually go with a zirconia abutment, but for molars or any area where there's enough volume and I want that nice color cervically, then I'm gonna go with an Emax abutment and a separate crown, or you can use other ceramics as far as the crown goes, and the system works really well. I wanted to mention these few pointers since I'm in my clinical theater milling out multiple restorations with various parameters to make sure they work very well. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, make sure you post them below and I'll see you folks in that next video. Bye now.